Ubisoft, Star Wars, and a strong female character. Sounds like the setup to a bad joke. Ubisoft's track record lately has been iffy at best. Star Wars is on a massive downward spiral after the disastrous sequel trilogy and the shows with tanking views. Last but certainly not least, the past few years have not been kind to most self-proclaimed strong female characters, whether it's movies or games, and due to all those horrible experiences, fans are pretty quick to judge at the mere mention of a female protagonist. Certainly doesn't sound like Star Wars Outlaws has a lot going for it after its reveal trailer and subsequent gameplay trailer at Ubisoft Forward. But for me personally, the biggest issue I see with this game is how similar its potential and presentation feels to another Ubisoft game whose marketing will live in infamy, Watch Dogs. That was the last time we saw Ubisoft promise things that didn't seem possible and shockingly, come game time, they were either downgraded massively or missing altogether. There's a few things about Star Wars Outlaws that have potential and a lot that looks like fake promises in the making. We start off in the shoes of our main character, Kay Vess, and she's in the middle of a heist. During her escape, we get to see some gameplay including stealth, using her animal friend to interact with the environment, and gunplay once she gets caught. She gets on her speeder and races back to Jaunta's Hope to meet up with her droid associate and trade her loot in for a reward. Her buyer had company in the form of an Imperial soldier who attempts to blackmail Kay for her award. The game gives you the option of bribing her, and in the gameplay we saw, Kay refused to bribe her. She blasts Kay all over the news as a wanted fugitive, but Kay manages to get to her ship and fly off. She's followed by some TIE fighters, which she makes quick work of before heading off into hyperspace. Then we get some quick shots of other environments and gameplay situations before the trailer ends. Starting with the gameplay, it strikes me as Red Dead Redemption, but in space. There's nothing really special about the gunplay, and since we aren't playing as a Jedi on this one, the movement is limited and relies more on gadgets. Seems like a standard third-person cover shooter, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but not anything revolutionary either. Something I wasn't expecting was the ability to choose different paths, like bribing the Imperial officer and then having to deal with the consequences. The space battles and wanted mechanics could be the most interesting parts of this game, considering how many other games are trying to perfect space travel in their own open worlds. It all depends on how much control the player actually has, since it's tough to gauge from the gameplay what the game itself is doing versus what's happening as a result of player input. Overall gameplay isn't anything special, nor is it bad, it just seems like something that might not be enough to sustain exciting gameplay after 30 hours. God, this is so boring. In terms of visual quality and game performance, the gameplay seemed extremely staged and clearly is running in-engine at levels most games can barely reach these days. Gameplay reveals are always staged, but this one is very reminiscent of how Ubisoft promoted Watch Dogs back in the day. The graphics seem too perfect, especially for a Ubisoft game, and just like Watch Dogs, this game seems to be running in a way that feels unreal to most players. Hate to sound cliche, but if something seems too good to be true, it usually is, especially in the world of gaming. Compare it to what we saw from Assassin's Creed Mirage at the same event. That footage seemed more than believable, considering current tech and how previous games looked. This game doesn't have that same advantage. We know everything that's in this was created for this game for the first time. I got a bad feeling about this. Watch Dogs made players believe they were getting insane graphics and the ability to live out a hacker GTA 5 fantasy. A big reason I enjoyed Watch Dogs is I never saw the trailers or gameplay beforehand, so I wasn't lied to about what I was buying. Looking back, there's no denying they clearly misled, manipulated, and lied with the footage they showed versus how the game actually played. That's a part of their history, so it's something that people are always going to keep in mind when they see footage like this that just seems unreal. From this gameplay, it looks like the game is running at 4K with a consistently high frame rate. Given everything I just mentioned about Ubisoft's history, and that it's rare for any game to actually run that well, it's understandable why a lot of fans feel like they're being lied to again. Maybe this will be the game to turn things around for Ubisoft, but fans can't be blamed for being very hesitant with a gameplay reveal that seems extremely curated. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. On to Star Wars itself, it's no secret that the franchise has been suffering for a while now. The sequels divided the fan base heavily, and while the TV universe started with a glimmer of hope, it's been pretty much extinguished by this point. On the gaming side of things, the Cal Kestis Jedi games have been successful so far, but this is coming from an entirely different developer. The brand name still carries weight, but it also carries all the baggage of previous entries. A game like this is unfortunately going to be saddled with all those failures, whether that means fans will be skeptical or write the game off entirely.
The last point to touch on is the infamous strong female character. Within the first few seconds of the game, Kay is performing a stealth takedown, which consists of one punch to the face that completely knocks her enemy out. One punch from a 110 pound woman knocks out a fully grown adult alien. Compare that to this scene from Sicario where Emily Blunt punches a guy in the face and it barely affects him. Emily Blunt actually looks like a badass and even she couldn't knock someone out with one punch. We're expected to believe this girl can? At the very least, they could have had her choke him out or stab him. Anything more believable and creative than one punch. Maybe the reason her aim was so shitty in the reveal was to try to paint her as not being perfect. Like, hey, she missed a few shots. See, she's not a Mary Sue. It gets worse from there, though, because it's pretty clear we're getting the standard, quippy, tough chick character when it comes to K Vess. As with most female characters, they take away defining female traits from her and basically turn her into a knockoff Han Solo. Games like Horizon have no problem depicting their main characters with feminine qualities, both physically and emotionally, while still retaining how badass they are. From the gameplay we've seen so far, that's not the case here. She literally says during the trailer she's been held back her whole life, presumably by old white men like the one they switched to almost immediately, which is the exact kind of nonsense characters like Captain Marvel and Rey are based around. That is one big pile of shit. Lucasfilm only has themselves to blame here. It's not the responsibility of fans to keep handing out chances that these companies don't deserve. For some people, it's as simple as, oh, I'm a fan of the franchise, so I consume whatever product they put in front of me without complaint and prepare for the next one. To them, any criticism makes someone a hater or not a real fan. For a lot of fans, though, we learn our lessons and use that to avoid getting tricked again. Watching footage like this, we clearly see things that in the past have led to characters like Rey or Captain Marvel. It's the responsibility of the creators to prove to us they've learned from their mistakes and plan to change their strategies moving forward. Otherwise, most fans feel burnt out and unwilling to see their favorite franchise put through yet another disaster. Disaster might be too harsh given what limited footage we've seen so far, but when you consider the track record of products like this, it might not be too far from the truth. Ubisoft has been down this road before with games that looked way too good to be true, and considering how smooth this game ran in the trailer, we could have another Watch Dogs on our hands. Star Wars isn't the strong brand it used to be either. After numerous failures, fans are tired of seeing their favorite franchise fail and fail again. None of that is helped by the introduction of a female protagonist who by all appearances is cut from the same strong female character cloth as Rey, Captain Marvel, and so many others from the last few years. The only power I have is that I believe we can do better. It's tiring to see companies learn nothing from their failures when it comes to writing female characters. Instead of learning from successful heroes like Aloy, who are badass while retaining their femininity, they yet again choose to defeminize their female heroes so much they border on being masculine. What we saw leads to the conclusion that we should expect a lot of tough girl boss moments, mixed in with a heavy dose of shitty, annoying quips. There are parts of this game that could be very interesting, but it all comes down to just how open this open world really is, because with these reveals it's tough to tell what's part of the script and what the player can control. Whether or not this game is successful depends on all those factors as well as a few more, but it's fair to say given what we know so far, this is heading down the familiar path of becoming yet another divisive Star Wars product.